Hi everybody, my name is Andrew Leichnow, and I'm a third year in the College of Arts and Sciences, and I am majoring in chemistry. Um, the title of my project is called a, uh, The Chiral Resolution of a De-Aromatizing Tungsten Agent. And I know that's pretty you know, confusing, but I'll try to walk you through it. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So, um, the group that I work in, I work in the Harvard lab uh, in the chemistry department, and we work with small, small molecule activation. What does that really mean? Well, we take small molecules like ben benzene and other aromatic systems, which in nature are, are not really useful. They're very stable and not very reactive. But we've developed um, a group of metal systems that can bind and activate these metal complexes. Um, and then we can do additions on the ring and kind of get some sort of useful reactivity here. And then as I show at the very bottom there, starting with benzene, which is the, the hexagon, we can kind of do some transformations to start with a pretty simple starting material to get some pretty complex molecules. Um, and well, so here we just have, uh, I have the starting material in red, and then to kind of show with the use of these metal systems how we can facilitate certain reactions to get some pretty neat uh, and complex molecules. Um, so the, the general focus of our group is to uh, create drug derivatives and other things that we suspect might be biologically active and you know, might eventually serve as a drug in the human body. Um, but the human body is complex, and so are these molecules. And um, there is a phenomenon called the chirality of molecules, which basically means the handedness. Uh, if you think of your left and your right hand, they are mere images of each other, but we know that they're not the same thing. We can't put a right-handed glove on our left hand, for instance. Similarly, we can think of molecules this way, which I've represented by R and S. And if we put both of these molecules in the body, it interacts with drug receptors and proteins differently. So if we use our metal um, complex to create a drug derivative, we need to make sure to separate these two mirror images of each other so that they have reliable pharmaceutical benefits. Um, and these two uh, mirror images, these ands, are called enantiomers. Um, and that's kind of the, the word underlined at the very bottom there. So the, the project that I'm working on is to separate these two mirror images or these two enantiomers of the metal that we use to facilitate these reactions. On the left there, I have shown the molecular structure of thalidomide, which was a drug used in the 1950s to, um, to uh, treat morning sickness in pregnant women. One mirror image, one enantiomer of the drug uh, was successful in doing that, while the other one caused severe birth defects. So you can see why this is pretty important that if, I'm trying to, if our group is trying to develop pharmaceutical derivatives that may be used in the body, that we find a way to separate these things. So my goal then is to separate mirror images of the, the tungsten complex that I have shown up there. And uh, I'm trying to do this by uh, introducing this tungsten complex to different other handed environments. Um, 